Mark, it's an explosive morning here with your new mongoose bat. What does it feel like after the activity? Yeah, it's great, mate. Let's just sort of try and smash as much as we could. Um, you know, hit all the walls, hit the barrels, and then obviously got the car here as well. So great fun to sort of get the license to try and hit balls in a different environment than what you used to. Well, obviously around you, you've got a few targets, uh, fours and sixes played. Now, this, this is the main reason why you're now a mongoose cricketer. It's going to improve yeah. your already explosive hitting. Well, let's hope so. Look, I'm obviously going to try and use this, you know, the new MMI. Um, so you know, it should be entertaining. I think it'll be great fun if we can hit the ball further, hit it harder. Um, it'll also be great viewing for the crowd if it's uh, flying out of the park by a long way. Tell us a bit more about the back. Obviously, it's a bit, di bit different from uh, the traditional cricket yeah. bat. Yeah, well, you've got the longer blade. Is obviously, you know, the shorter blade and the longer handle is obviously the first thing that you notice. Um, but obviously, with it, with it being a shorter blade, you've got all the wood exactly where you need to hit it. I think uh, you know, results show at the moment it's hitting it 20% further than, than the, the normal bats. Um, you know, we work hard enough in the gym. If we can gain an extra little bit of percentage from our cricket bat as well, it could be uh, great viewing. And I also understand there is a million pounds <laughs> as a reward if you manage to hit one over the, the pavilion at Lords. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You must be absolutely excited about that. Okay, that'll be great fun. I'm just going to be teeing off every time we get out there now. But uh, that should be entertaining because if we can, if somebody can hit one over, I, I've seen Kieran Pollard hit one, you know, fairly close to going over the top. But uh, you know, if we can get the bat going well and we're, we're fit and we're strong, yeah, it'll be good viewing to watch. Of course, it's uh, freezing cold here today, minus <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, but on the other side of the world, England's Ashes team, not a bad start. What's yeah. your sort of take on the first test? Yeah, I'm delighted with the first test. You know, by the sort of first innings with our batting, where we sort of probably underperformed and got, didn't quite get enough runs, um, the rest of it was pretty good for us. I think uh, the, the, the second innings where we, where we batted was fantastic. Um, really set a marker down for me. I think you know, that we're going to continue to score big scores and get 500 on the board, then I think we can bowl them out and, and get the 20 wickets we need. If I was to push you for a prediction uh, score-wise? Well, I said 2-1 for the start of the series, and I still think it would be the same. I think uh, we're strong enough to win it. Um, you know, we've just got to remain being positive and get the scores on the board. And uh, probably pleasing from your point is only about to see another left-hander scoring um, 200. Yeah, well, both of the guys in Strauss as well are getting 100. So, But Cookie's been under a lot of pressure, hasn't he, I think. So um, got 50 in the first innings, um, and then obviously a fantastic double 100. It doesn't happen very often in, in Test cricket, so really pleased for him. It's a hard place to play in Australia against Australians. Mm. Uh, what are the sort of the things that that, uh, that you found in your time that would uh, uh, be the things to really look out for? Uh, no, I think you've got to maintain. You've got to be strong out there. You've got to, you've got to be a fast pace of cricket. Uh, you've got to take them on at their own game. Almost. You've got to be positive. You've got to really try and take it to them. And I think um, you know we've, we've probably got to be a bit more ruthless when it comes to our batting in the first innings. Like we, we probably underachieved slightly there. But also we had them sort of 120, 130 for five when they were batting, if we could have capitalised and really got them out for sort of 250, who knows what happened in that game. OK, last thing then, key player on either side? Graham Swan for England. Um, Ricky Ponting, I would say. You know, if you can, if you, the amount of runs that he scores from, he's a big player, but um, we need Graham Swan to go. If he, gets, if he gets wickets, we'll win. Brilliant. OK, listen, well, thanks for today and uh, good luck for the rest of the season with your new mongoose. Thank you very much.